Hey there, I'm Dina Rutter, and I want to show you how to use my 25 favorite font pairings in Canva. First, you'll want to download the PDF, Top 25 Canva Font Pairings, and we're going to scroll down to the last page where it has some instructions for you. There are a couple different ways that you can use this guide. Uh, you can use it just off of the PDF. You can type in the fonts into Canva, or you can click on this link and it will add a template to your Canva account. I'm gonna show you both ways. Scroll down to the last page where it says utilizing this guide. First, I'm gonna walk you through one through four, how you can use the different fonts that are in this guide. And next I'll show you how to add a, this template to your Canva file. So you can just use all of the fonts right there. They're already added to a Canva document where you can copy and paste. So first off, we're gonna open up a Canva design. So over here, I'm signed into Canva and I'm just gonna go right here across the top. I'm just gonna do a letter portrait, click on this. First off, we're going to open this Canva design and now we're going to add a text box. So if you just click somewhere on your document and then just hit a T, a text box will appear. And now we are going to go search through this guide and look for the font pairing that you want to use. Okay, so I'm going to look for Source Serif Pro and Lato Bold. So over here, while this text box is selected, I'm gonna come up here and then I'm going to type in Source Serif Pro. And you'll see that right there. And with this little drop down, it gives you a couple of different options. We're gonna use the bold option. And then I'm going to make a text box again just by hitting that T. And now we're gonna find the font pairing. So with that box select, selected, we're gonna come up here and type in Lato. And then with that little arrow, it'll show you that there's lots of different weight options and we're gonna use the bold. All right, so now you have this, these two font pairings in a document ready to use. Now that you have these two font pairings right here, you can open up another document. Maybe you have a worksheet that you'd like to apply these fonts to, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I am using a worksheet template from my Brand in a Box kit, and this is from my Eleanor collection. I'm going to come over here again, and I'm going to grab these two fonts. I'm just going to copy them. I just did Command C, or you can go to these three dots and hit Copy. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to set them on my document. So they're there. Now I'm going to click on this font and I'm going to change everything that is this header font. I'm going to change it to Source Serif Pro. So here I click on Baskerville, find out the name, and then I'm going to go here, click bold um, Source Serif, and then say change all. And you'll see that that changed everywhere that Baskerville was is now been changed to this font pairing choice, which is Source Serif Pro. And then here we're going to change everything to Lato. So I've got that selected, got the Brandon selected. That's what's there before. And now I'm just going to change it to Lato. I'm going to use a regular weight since, um, you know, this is just regular text. So I don't want it to be too thick. And I'm going to say change all. You may have to adjust some of this, like bump the size down depending on what your template looks like, but all of those fonts have been changed. And then you can just delete these two off. And that's one way that you can use these pairings. Another way that you can use all of these pairings is by clicking this link and you're going to see that this template is trying to open. You're gonna say, use this template for a new design. And you're going to see that all of these fonts are here. So I could just copy this and then I could open up that document just like we did that worksheet and then we could make those changes from there. So this is one way to keep um, all of those font pairings at your fingertips. So what I would do now is I would save this to a file um, somewhere in your Canva. Uh, maybe you have a tutorial file, maybe you have a fonts file. Um, let's say move to folder here. And if you don't have a folder made already, let's just do create one. And I'm gonna call it font pairings so I can find it next time. Move to folder. And then when I 
need a new font pairing or if I'm looking for some new fonts in Canva, I can just come to this document and get going from there. So you can come in and copy this and move it to any other document that you're using. Let's say that you wanted these font pairings to be in your brand kit. If you have a pro, you can come over here to brand and you can, let's say we wanted to change these headings. You can come here, see all, you can edit these. You could change this font to um, the tan Ashford, like that, and save. That's going to save it to your brand kit. And then you can use those fonts a lot easier if this is something you're going to be using again and again. If you're ready to have your whole brand done for you, come over and check out my branding kits and templates. I have a program called Brand in a Box where I have made curated collections just for you and your business when you're starting out and you need all of your templates and your color palette and your fonts all chosen for you. I've done the hard work so you can just look like a pro right from the beginning. Um, check those out and reach out if you have any questions and we'll talk to you later. See ya.